In this video, we'll show you one way to create a floating desk and open shelves with caboodle benchtops. These shelves will be installed between two existing cabinets, so will be secured from the sides. Either purchased at or cut to the required length according to the benchtop instructions. Make sure you measure the space that your desk and shelves will need to fit in after all other cabinets and panels are in place to ensure an accurate fit. One slightly shorter than the width of your desk and two cut about 100mm shorter than the depth of your desk. Skirting board is a good option if you need to purchase some timber for this job. In this example, we will be demonstrating how to create these wall shelves and a floating desk. We will start with the shelves first. If needed, cut the bench top down to the desired depth and length first. Here we are using our hazelnut timber look laminate bench tops that have already been cut to size. You will then need to decide on the desired heights of your shelves and mark out the center lines for each on the adjacent cabinets. You'll need to avoid any top, base or shelf panels as well as any assembly screws or existing shelf holes. If your bench top is thick enough, you can screw into the bench top either slightly higher or lower than the center line to avoid these obstacles. Just be sure you adjust the markings on your cabinet to reflect this. Work out the locations of your screw holes from the back wall and mark them on the shelf center lines. They should be at least 50 millimeters in from the front and back edges of the cabinet and again be avoiding any screws and holes. Drill into your cabinets on these marked points using a 4 mm drill bit. You may wish to countersink these holes on the inside of the cabinets using a 10 mm or countersinking drill bit. This is to ensure that the screws sit flush once in place. Hold or clamp the top shelf into place, ensuring it is flush against the wall, and check that it is level using a spirit level. We have used a straight piece of timber to create a lintel across the cabinets, which the shelf can be clamped onto. Using a 4mm drill bit, drill into the shelf through the pre-drilled holes in the cabinet. Ensure that the shelf is kept level and that the drill is held perpendicular. While the shelf is still held in place, screw the 70mm screws through the cabinet and into the shelf. Repeat this process for the other side of the shelf, and then for any remaining shelves. Where possible, continue to clamp the shelves into place on a horizontal surface to assist with keeping them level. Your shelves are now complete. We can now move on to the desk. If you haven't already done so, cut your desk and the support rails to size. You should also paint the support rails to match your wall or a colour of your choice prior to installation. Use a stud finder to locate and mark the centre point of any wall studs in your desk area. You'll need to find two studs to attach each support rail to. If that's not feasible, talk to your Bunnings hardware expert about using wall anchors or other hardware solutions instead. Work out how high you want your desk to be, subtract the thickness of your bench top, then mark a line across your wall at this height using a spirit level and a straight edge. Extend this line out onto the side walls, ensuring it remains level. Hold the support rails into place against the wall and draw the stud location lines down from the wall onto the rails. Remove the rails from the wall and drill a hole on each stud location line in roughly the middle of the rail. You can countersink these holes if you wish, using a countersinking bit or a 10mm drill bit. You'll need to turn the mains power to your house off to perform the next step. If you are unable to do so, you'll need to consult an electrician. Under no circumstances should you drill into your walls with live electricity still running through the house. Hold the desk support rails back into place against the wall lining the top edge along the horizontal line that you marked earlier. Using a 4mm drill bit, drill through the pre-drilled holes in the rails and into the wall studs. You should feel some resistance on the drill the entire way in, and you should see some timber dust along with the plaster dust when you retract the drill. If this is not the case, you've potentially missed the stud and will need to relocate it before you proceed. Once you have pre-drilled all of the studs, 
you can screw the support rails into place using the 70mm screws, or if you are attaching to an adjoining cabinet, using 28mm screws. Now you can switch the electricity back on. Slide the piece of benchtop that will act as your desk into place on top of the support rails. Using 90 degree angle brackets and 14mm screws, fix your benchtop to the side and rear support rails. Your desk is now complete. Now you can enjoy your new stylish desk and open shelving.